Now you can completely renew the look of your existing laminate countertop or table with real stone easily with the new Spreadstone Mineral Select Countertop Refinishing Kit by Deitch Coatings. Here we have a typical drab laminate countertop that's seen better days. It's been burned, stained, worn out, and is splitting apart with water and food residue penetrating into the underlying surface. But now with the Spreadstone Countertop Refinishing Kit, this old kitchen counter is just one day away from achieving a brand new elegant look. This countertop was just washed with a damp cloth and multi-purpose cleaner to remove any food residues or oils that might have been on the surface. So now we're going to proceed with masking off and protecting any adjoining surfaces from the countertop coatings. First, we're going to apply masking tape carefully along the edge of the countertop backsplash where it meets the wall tile. You will also need to mask painted wall surfaces carefully where they meet up with the countertop as well. To guard against damage to your wall paint, use painter's tape to avoid pulling paint off the wall when you remove it later. Take your time to ensure that the edge you are creating is crisp and straight for an optimal overall appearance when the job is done. Next, you will need to protect your cabinets. Use a plastic drop sheet to guard them from the countertop coatings. With your surfaces protected, this is the time to make any necessary repairs to the underlying surface. Large unsightly holes, seams and cracks in your old laminate countertop or table that could transmit through your brand new finish should be filled. Here we have an open seam and a crack where water has penetrated repeatedly, causing the underlying wood to swell. To fix this, we just cut away some of the damaged loose laminate and swelled wood with a utility knife. Remove the debris and sand some of the surrounding laminate to rough it up and remove any sanding dust. Now to fill the void in our surface, we're using a quick setting drywall spackle. Drywall spackle works just as well on wood tabletops. Smooth out the spackle to ensure that the void is filled completely and that there are no remaining indentations. Repeat these steps elsewhere as required before proceeding. For simple holes like this, just sand and patch. When the patches are fully dry, sand them carefully to make them flush with the surrounding surface. When the countertop finish is applied over top, you will have a tough stone surface that will look brand new. Now that the area is masked and all surface repairs have been made, the final step is to thoroughly scuff the laminate surface. This is important because it will create surface profile to which the countertop primer coat will effectively bond. Use the 80 grit sandpaper in your kit. There is no right or wrong way to do this step. Just scratch it up. Do this to the whole surface, then wash it one more time to remove any fine sanding debris and you're ready to go. For protecting sinks and fixtures where they meet with the countertop, you could either lift them up or pop them out completely before you begin. Or you can leave them in place and mask them off carefully, as we are doing here. The first step in refinishing your laminate countertop or table is to apply the primer coat. With your primer well stirred, roll on a uniform coat with the enclosed 4 inch roller. Use standard painting practices, cutting in your corners and edges first with the enclosed brush and then cover the remaining surface with your roller. Apply the primer with smooth uniformity. Avoid excessive texture that could produce a rougher final finish. After application, you may notice that some of the underlying surface is showing through. That's completely normal. Just wait about 30 minutes before rolling more primer onto any thin spots. If you are working in damp or cool conditions, dry time may be a bit longer. 
It's also a good idea to double coat the countertop edges as well, since they are a continual point of impact in daily use. This is a good place to have underlying strength. After your second application to thin spots, everything will be adequately hidden by the primer. With primer applied and the surface looking uniformly coated, you can proceed with the next step in as little as 30 minutes. Application of the decorative stone coating. The decorative stone coating is simple to apply, apart from a few minor details. You will be applying two uniform coats. The main difference this time is that you want good distribution of the decorative stone speckle as you roll it onto your counter or tabletop. The product in this tray was stirred thoroughly from the bottom up before it was poured into the tray. Now as we load up the stone coating roller, we are stirring the coating contents even further. Applying this product is easy. All you do is roll it down in a repetitive crisscross pattern like this until the surface is covered. In nature, every piece of stone looks different with random speckle and color highlights. This easy technique will let you achieve the same thing with no special skill or artistic capability. Once the material is on, immediately pass the roller over the wet surface several times to ensure that it's applied uniformly with no excessive buildup in any particular area. Just keep moving along, coating all horizontal and vertical edges as thoroughly as you can with your roller. Roll downwards following the contour of vertical edges, like this, to ensure that the stone mix is evenly applied. This also packs on added stone durability for performance. Take your time around faucets and other fixtures to be sure that your coverage is uniform. To apply the stone coating in tight spots and in corners, use your small brush as you did with the primer. Only this time, dab the material into those areas to deposit the decorative elements evenly. Repeat these steps until the remaining surface has been completely covered and that's it. This product is water-based with plenty of available working time if you need it, so there's no need to rush. Let the coating dry for about one hour and you're ready to apply the second coat in exactly the same way. So once again, load up your four inch roller and roll the product down in a random crisscross pattern. After distributing the product on the surface, Remember to roll over it a few times to flatten it down. Leaving it on too thick will leave excessive texture on the surface and decrease your coverage rate. The beauty of this counter and tabletop coating system is the sheer simplicity of its application. A few simple roller and brush strokes are all it takes to achieve beautiful results. Dab material into your corners and along edges. And roll out the remaining area until the surface has been uniformly covered a second time. With both coats of the stone coating applied and now cured for 24 hours, we are going to sand down the surface. This is important for refining the stone finish and removing any excess texture to make it smooth for easy cleaning. This step also completely exposes the stone coating's granite-like character. This product gets extremely hard very fast, so if you would prefer the sanding to be a bit easier, you do have the option of sanding it down in as little as four hours after the final coat, before it has had a chance to reach full hardness. Before sanding, put on the dust mask that was included in your kit. 
Start off with the 80 grit sandpaper to aggressively shave off the most prominent texture in the surface. Sand in a circular motion to avoid any linear patterns or scratches. Along edges, sand the finish more gently, following the contours of your countertop or table. An extra few minutes of care at this time will give you smoothly contoured edges and the results you want. In no time at all, the beauty of real stone is beginning to emerge. If you prefer, you can use a random orbital sander to get the surface to your desired level of smoothness faster. This lets you handle sanding of the large flat areas with relative ease and speed. For best control when doing edges, sanding by hand is still the recommended option. As you move along, right after smoothing a section of the surface with the rougher 80 grit sandpaper, switch to the softer 120 grit to give the surface a final polish. When sanding is complete, all surface dust should be thoroughly removed with a vacuum and then wiped down with a damp cloth to remove all dust. If a vacuum is not available, careful sweeping should be employed. The goal is to ensure that no dust is left behind to cloud the finish when the clear top coat is applied. With sanding complete, you can probably see the beautiful stone character starting to emerge. And there's your new stone countertop. Look for any tiny spots that might have been damaged by sanding, like this, and just dab a little stone coating on with your finger and let it dry. Stir the clear coat thoroughly before use. Stir gently to avoid addition of air bubbles into the coating. Roll on the material with slow, gentle strokes. Apply the product moderately and avoid excessive pooling. Pass over the wet coating a few times to ensure uniform distribution. To avoid trapping bubbles in the finish, don't overwork the clear coat after it's been applied. Otherwise, this is just the same simple application as the rest of the countertop system. Once complete, your stone finish will be locked beneath a clear, tough shield. This is the last step in your counter or tabletop refinishing process and it should not be performed until the countertop stone coating has been allowed to cure for at least 24 hours. Use your small brush to gently cut in edges and corners and continue until the surface is completely covered. After about four hours, apply a second uniform coat in exactly the same manner. Once your second clear coat has been applied, the job is done. Let the clear coat cure for 24 hours and maintain light use for the first seven days. When the clear coat is applied, the brilliance of your new countertop finish will come to life before your eyes, and the lightly textured surface will be further protected beneath a tough, clear shield. With your new countertop installed and fully cured, you have a tough stone surface that should serve you well for years. To help keep your new surface in great shape, we recommend the following common safeguards. When using hot cookware, use a trivet to protect the surface from extreme heat. For cutting foods during meal preparation, a cutting board should be used to shield the surface from possible damage. And finally, wipe away spills and keep your new surface clean with a damp cloth or multi-purpose kitchen cleaner.